Welcome to another Vlogmas, so I don't mind my hair like this. I feel like this is the first day in years I've actually straightened my hair. I don't know how I feel about it, I'm still having it curled, it always feels weird when it's straight. A drowned rat, like, and it's all just like stuck to me, but we're gonna go with it. I'm just about to head out, I'm seeing a friend today. I don't know what we're planning to do because I have to stay outside, I think we're gonna go on like a walk, but get a coffee or something, I don't really know. But obviously we've got to stay outside because of Covid, so yeah, I'm gonna go see her, which will be nice, and then I need to come back and shoot some bits because... I haven't got any posts ready for the next few days and the giveaways and stuff so there's actually loads of shit I mentioned this morning but I just kept snoozing my alarm like snooze 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 I got up at like midday so um that's not ideal but we move also just remembered that the podcast went live this morning so I'll put the link down below if you watched yesterday's vlog you'll have seen well the weekend vlog you'll have seen me recording it on FaceTime to the girls so if you want to go and listen to what we spoke about it's all about like um post-grad pressure like when you finish uni like trying to get a job and like careers and I feel like it's quite good because we're all a mix we all do very different things like me and Charlotte are obviously running our business and then you've got Amy and Ellie who are both in like PR like marketing sort of jobs and then um Harriet is doing a master's so it's quite like a different variety of things after finishing uni so if you're a student or if you just graduated or whatever I think it'll be a good one for you I'm just wearing the jeans that I bought yesterday, a little black top and I'm going to have to put like a really big thick puffer jacket on because it's going to be freezing. Um, yeah. Now I'm with Lizzie. Hi. Hi. Having a nice little catch up. Um, we went for, there's like a quite cute little, the only place that's nice in Banbury basically left um, yep. for lunch. And we got a burger, I had halloumi, you had like a beef one but they weren't actually that nice. Yeah. Come for a walk, there's like a park. I'm gonna fall in the canal because I'm distracted, but there's a park a bit kind of like near the town centre. So we've got, I've got a hot chalk. You've gone for festive. I should have gone for you something festive. <laughs> oh my God, Dana. I can't swim. So you'll be jumping in. Can you swim? Jumping. Are you a strong yeah, I can swim. It's because there's these things and I'm stepping over them. Every, I'm gonna like me you. Like mean stuff. So I'm just, there we go. <laughs> um, yeah, I feel like I should have gone for something festive like you, but. Gingerbread latte. We should have gone star, oh no, there's not one here. I was gonna say Starbucks, they have like, yeah. like winter cups. I'm just doing a bit extra, I've gone for hot chocolate. I'm quite excited to drink it even though it's burning my hand. Having a nice day. I feel like we might be about to get murdered. <laughs> because it looks, look at that on camera. Jesus. That looks like. That is creepy. It looks like there's an actual wall where like that bench is. And there's actually people there and you can't even see them on the camera. Oh God, you can a little bit. How terrifying. Um, and it's also freezing. So oh, this could be the end of us, really. We could die out here, guys. Hello, so I, I'm back at home now. I've been at home a while, actually. I just filmed um, the giveaway post that went up tonight, which is in collaboration with the Chocolate Society. It's a hot chocolate shaker giveaway. I'm literally the biggest hot chocolate fan. So this is, well, I had one earlier, but this is very appropriate. Um, but basically, you win the first ever hot chocolate shaker, which is like this um shaker and the lid can pop up for the pressure which is you need that to make the chocolate shake properly because if it gets too much pressure it would like crack or whatever so this the special like made lid like pops up and it lets you have more pressure anyway i'll insert the video that i created i put it on as a reel over on instagram so if you want to go and head over to there but i'll put the video in now I'm just about to tidy my room as you can probably see even the bed is a mess and you know it's a messy room when even the bed is a mess because it means I've started to put stuff on the bed because there's not enough space on the floor so it's honestly but I did just get the December glossy box arrived like an hour ago and I haven't unboxed it yet so I thought I would do like a first reaction unboxing on here it's a really pretty box the December one it says on it best time of the year and it's all like glittery and pink and pretty so this is definitely one that I'm going to keep like the really nice ones I like to keep for storage so you always get this little pamphlet if you're interested in like finding out a bit more about glossy box I'll leave all my links and stuff down below because I work with them on like an ambassador thing so you can save set like some different amounts of money each month but I'll put on my codes and everything so if you do want to 
have a brown. I think I've said this before, but glossy boxes would make such a nice gift if you know somebody's into beauty. You can sign up for just one month, so you could get them like the December one for Christmas. Um, and they do limited edition ones as well, but you've probably seen because I unbox them quite a lot and I've got some videos like solely on unboxing, so you can go watch them if you want to see kind of what kind of stuff comes each month. But this is a December one, so it's always packaged up really cute. And see the bow. I like that it's a pink theme this month. Okay. Ooh. Right, so first of all we have um, a brand called Wonder Beauty and it's their baggage claim gold eye masks. If you've watched my channel for long, you'll know I love an eye mask. I love any sort of face mask, but eye masks are my favourite. I don't know why they should feel so bougie. I got so into them in lockdown one, and I literally love them ever since. So they look really amazing, and they're gold as well. And it says that um, the gold foil eye mask helps to nourish dull, tired-looking skin. The gold foil helps retain heat and prevents evaporation, allowing maximum amount of serum to hydrate into the skin. Quite a nice concept. So you basically just pop them on for 10 to 15 minutes. Um, and then pat the remaining serum onto the skin. Next up, we've got nail polish by a brand called Nailberry, and it's in the shade. Can't see. Strawberry jam makes sense, like a really like pinky red colour. Very nice for a festive, like wintery vibe. I can't tell if it's like more red or more pink. Like you know, it actually goes on your nails, but it's a cute shade for this time of year. Then we have a beauty blender from sport fx you can never have enough beauty blenders and this has got like a nice angular um edges to it so it'll be good for doing like nose contour or anything like that then we've got a palmer's cocoa butter formula i've used this before i feel like this is a really popular brand palmer's and this is their daily skin therapy relieves rough dry skin also says soothes marks and revives tattoos um so yeah I've seen, seen and used this before and it's a really good brand. I feel like most people will know what this is. And then last but not least, we have a Symbiosis. There's a lot of words on this. AHA3 and RNA glycolic acids and RNA overnight rejuvenating eye serum. We've got eye serum. I don't know all this. Let me read the little thing because I don't know what all of these this terminology means. So this is an overnight rejuvenating eye serum. Ideal treatment for puffy tired eyes a need um glycolic acid boosts skin's firmness and addresses blackheads dullness and excess oils while rna helps skin to combat the signs of aging including fine lines wrinkles and brown spots oh my god guess how much this is worth you're not going to guess if you physically had to guess you need to think of the number now have we got one this costs 102 pounds I'm going to use this so sparingly. What the hell? That's mad. So, that's some lovely little treats in there. I am now going to go and cook some dinner. And then, when I've got dinner, I'm watching Ellie. Um, you probably, you might know her. She it was who I was talking about from the podcast the other day. So, Ellie Tyrrell, go and follow her and everything. She is on ITV. Well, she's been on already. It was on at six, but it's gone that now because I couldn't watch it at six. But she's on a new program on ITV called Love Bites. And I'm so excited to see her on TV. Like, it's going to be such a weird thing seeing, like, my friend on TV. I don't know, it's freaking me out. Um, we're going to go watch her. I'm really excited. It sounds like it's a really good show. Basically, she has, like, three guys, I think, cook for her. And then she has to, like, pick them based off the meal. And then she goes on a date. Obviously, I heard about this as it was, like, going on. Whereas now i'm seeing like the actual show whereas i heard her like say like yeah da, 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 this happened and now to actually see like how they've put it together is going to be really exciting so i'm going to watch that so i'm just on facetime to my favorite baby monkey hello how are you how is everyone doing i can't believe like we've done a week of vlogmas oh shit yeah it's the seventh yeah and a week of giveaways already yeah. To send so us flying. You said, you said what tonight's giveaway was. I have. I've put, I'm going to put the clip in. Lovely. The clip of the, <laughs> the hot chalk shelter. Uh, I, I was actually going to make some tonight, so maybe I'll include that in my Yeah. Book. But I've had two hot chocolates like already it. today, so I can't really have... Did you anymore. Did you really like yeah. it? Yeah. Because I, was, I thought dark chocolate, will it be like too strong? But it wasn't. It was really good. I think it's better. Because, like, I don't know, I, it's basically the best chocolate I've ever had. I think it really. tastes more like... Um, What's the word? Like, authentic? Like, I don't know, like, as if you were in a cafe or something? Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah. it's more... Like, it does, it's like a shitty powder. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Rich and... Quite like, smooth. Chocolate, chocolate, smooth yeah, and smooth. velvety. Velvety, for velvety. sure. I put little marshmallows... Oh, you saw my video. I put little marshmallows on top of mine as well, which was pain. Yeah. I just went, like, cream. I didn't have any cream, unfortunately. Oh. A shame. Mm. Together, combined, we would have the perfect recipe. 
yeah. marshmallows and cream. So oh, we can announce um, tomorrow's tried... giveaway. Oh yeah, so because... it's actually a hundred pound watch voucher. Woo! <laughs> have you got yours on? <laughs> no, neither have no, I. I Shame. I, I went like that though, as if I had. But it's, no, stunning, I don't. it's stunning though. It's beautiful. It's like gold, chunky. Everything like, you could want from a watch, really. Yeah, basically stunning. But there's so many different options. So, like, if that's not your style, there are like. Yeah, that's why I went for a voucher because we thought that then it gives people like more. More options. versatile. Yeah. Um, also, I've tried the um, Starbucks gingerbread. What did I try? The gingerbread. No, not gingerbread something. Maybe gingerbread latte. That was quite was good. Was it you who tried mint? Yeah, that was that's from yeah. Cafe Nero. Yeah, I saw you try that and I was gonna get it today and then I ended up going to like a muffin break instead. But I was gonna get them because I you know Please I love do. a bit of mint. I you need to try the Cafe Nero mint hot chocolate, like because you love mint hot chocolate yeah. like much as me. Do you like after eights? Like, yeah, 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 I love them. Same, yeah. It's like proper like mint in a weird way, it doesn't taste like a shitty flavoring or something like actually tastes like, like leaves yeah the, well i used to make my own you know like mint sauce for like roasts and stuff we used to have yeah. a mint plant in the garden so i used to like mash up the mint with like lemon and sugar it was so delicious i'm seizing up like i'm actually not moving it and it's just like coming inwards oh god what's on your arm oh, oh my god i didn't realize you're in a cardigan i thought you had like like a cuff one or something you know like a leg warmer did you ever when you were a kid wear like tights and leg warmers and like boots like yeah, so weird I, like they were all neon, neon as well. like bright pink those and weird, weird parties where everyone would have neon parties at one yeah, point yeah and i'd wear like glow in the dark bangles and stuff like yeah. and like beads did I, you ever layer I up beads a, <laughs> i had a rollerblading party for like my 13th or something and everyone I wrote had that. to wear neon and i had like a yellow mesh neon tutu oh, like God. and those like glove things that like have your thumbs and fingers out yeah. but they're like mesh yeah. and that's the first time i fell over rollerblading because it got caught on the side of the oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, god. right at the end of my party and i was crying from embarrassment oh my god that's so sad and cute at the same time fishnet yeah. that's what they were like fishnet. fishnet gloves oh god <laughs> hey